Hi, I sat here for like 8 hours trying to think of a way to let everybody know in the beginning of this video that it's not really for the stone cold beginner in Flash. This video is for somebody who already has developed decent skills in Flash and they're ready to be a Flash rock star and give away or sell files that people can configure and adjust without having or knowing Flash. Yeah, yeah. Now since we covered most of the bases and logic for this kind of functionality in the first tutorial, I'm going to link to it here and I'm going to suggest that you go and watch that first tutorial about making .dxt configuration files. If you would like to understand exactly what we're doing, maybe you're not understanding exactly what we're doing, how we set up the file in Flash, because all I did was I kept pretty much the same Flash file from the first tutorial the .txt config files. Remember it had this script that was loading in a .txt file and then parsing out the variables inside of it. I just took the same file and made it work for XML. So it's pretty much the same file with the same elements on stage and we have a new script now that loads flash config.xml file instead of a .txt file and the script is just a little bit different for parsing the XML out but you can see it gathers the variables and puts them and applies them to the stage objects pretty much the same way the first one did so if you really want to understand what we're doing and the code line by line you should check out the first one that discusses uh, creating .txt configuration files because I go over the script real well and if you're not com uh, really confident with creating XML and parsing it out and how it all works in the Action Script 3. I have a really in-depth tutorial at developphp.com. I'll show you where that is right now. That way if you don't understand how to how XML works in Flash, the fundamentals of it, you can check out this tutorial. Okay, so since this Flash file, the first one called out to a .txt file and this script calls out to a .xml file sitting on the server in the same folder as the flash file so let's take a look at that and here it is it's called flash underscore config .xml we open it like the person who would be manipulating the file would open it usually notepad this is what they will see and a lot of times it's good to let's close that out I'm gonna create a new notepad file I'm gonna call it readme and it's going to have instructions in it. Place instructions. And I don't want anybody telling me it's too hard for somebody to go in and change an XML node. It's not too hard. And maybe ordinary people who never used a computer before could not do it. But I see so many people selling and offering awesome free flash files that are configured through XML and somebody who doesn't know or have flash can just go in and change that XML file I know a lot of people are gonna try and tell me that's not a very smart way to give a content editing system to somebody but this is a way that's used by industry professionals all over the world and if you really want to know how to be the smartest with it what you do is you create PHP configuration files which are more like a content management system that somebody can use sort of like Joomla where they log into an admin center change data so they don't have to open any TXT or XML files but this XML method is widely used so I don't want to hear anybody telling me that this is not an, an official way to let somebody edit the content or configure a flash file because it is it's very widely used now so this would be you just file save this as in that same folder with the XML config file is a .txt file named readme just name it read underscore me save close it now in that folder when they download the application they'll see the readme file they'll open it and it'll have instructions telling them how to adjust this file which is very simple they just look for the owner name node and change what's inside of it the background color node change what's inside of that the background size node then you change what's inside of that 
then they save it put it back on server and at runtime the flash file will uh, suck it up and display those configurations so this file will be free for available so this file will be free available for download as well as the that text configuration files example we made the other day from developphp.com and you'll be able to get to the script and all the elements I have on stage here and this folder will have the download package will have this readme in it the flash config file.xml file as well as the swf and the editable source happy coding